Hey guys, what's up? It's Mining Munch, and I'm back for another episode of Radical Redstone. And today we will be l having a very special episode, and this is because, as you see, I'm not in my normal Redstone world. I am actually in my home bucket server. And um, today, um, the creations that have been built are not exactly mine. These are. Um, I would like to give the credit to my friend Rohan. Uh, his in-game name is Rohan the Great One, and um, well, he basically built both these designs, and I would re really like to thank him because this is these two designs are really really cool. They're really compact, simple, and easy to build. And um, as you see, I will I will. There are two designs here, and this is basically a very simple minecart design. Um, it makes it look like a realistic uh, train station so that you so you can basically have fun with this so let me just get straight right into it so basically what this is is it's an inverter circuit now um, if I just um, reveal the redstone here you can see it basically I put those half slabs there because um, uh, I will show you the purpose. So, okay, let's just leave the redstone uh, over here. So, I'm just going to put uh, six half slabs here and leave the redstone um, uh, concealed. So, no, not concealed. What, what? Revealed, right. Uh, so, let me just show you how this works. So, first you get into this minecart and you don't even have to press anything. It'll just take you to your destination and you right click to get out or left shift in 1.6 and you nudge the minecart a bit and it'll go back to its starting point and same goes with the destination minecart all you have to do is get off and nudge the minecart a bit that is it and as you see the redstone is very simple all you have to do for this one is a tripwire circuit which consists of two tripwire hooks one string two building blocks and one redstone so basically the redstone has to be below the tripwire hook which gets which basically gets triggered uh, which triggers the powered rail as you see so it'll start the minecart automatically if I just demonstrate here so I'm just gonna quickly just gonna no that, that's not what I meant to do no stop okay go back yeah this is the best part even if you accidentally push it, it will come back. So, I'd say this is um, really it's 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 a really good uh, s design for stations too because you can implement this design in stations. Uh, or but you have to edit the redstone a bit. But I mean, if you're a beginner at redstone, it's not really that hard. Also, okay. So um, if you trigger the trip wire uh, over here like this it will automatically start up so that's what I wanted to show you earlier so the same goes with this side it's just an inverter circuit so you just need a redstone torch two redstone and leading into a set of power drills so you just have to set it up like it is over here and uh, you're on your way so this design is slightly more complicated and um, the features of this design includes a auto refill system as well as a toggleable loot looping system so let me get straight right into it so let's say I have a minecart over here all I do is I get into it and we have the same auto start system and it'll start and it'll go and this is your destination you get off at your destination and you're on your way but what happens is is that these hoppers oh yeah so what happens is this triggers a loop system and what this loop system does is it is a because a normal uh, this is quite hard okay so a normal loop system is something like uh, this so let me just show you a small loop system um, come on, come on. What I need? Yeah, that's what I need. This is a small loop system. So all you basically have to do is uh, trigger this, 
with a uh, redstone torch and basically yeah if you put a minecart here it'll just keep looping again and again but the advantage of this system is that it's one way it's a one way looping system whereas this is a two way looping system so yeah so i mean some people might not like this feature so you can actually toggle it by um turning on this lever so what happens is it stops this from uh it just uh, completely just stops it. Stop. Okay, just stop. Stop. Okay, this is this is a bit hard to explain. Okay, so what it does is it feeds redstone into this dispenser, which um uh which basically um doesn't trigger a minecart out because it is always powered on. So it will only trigger one minecart on, and it'll just go to its destination and it'll stop since um when this is off a redstone signal comes on and uh triggers the dispenser and this power drill and a minecart comes out and it goes that is when this is off when it's on it just prevents that from happening so if you set it up somewhat like this where you have your destination uh a bit higher than your starting point you can basically use hoppers and refill your minecart. Now, this is not very recommended for su survival mode, but yeah, you can build it. There is no problem building it. It's just that it's going to take a lot of resources due to the amount of hoppers that are used in this mechanism. So, another thing that you have to note is that the way minecart, Minecraft uh, minecart rails work so let's say I have a junction over here and I am facing north as you see on my minimap and if I press F3 you can see on my F coordinates below the X Y and Z I am facing north so if I'm facing north and I have a perpendicular circuit it's gonna curve in this fashion instead of this fashion for this fa instead of this fashion for this fashion you need to have a continuous power going on so I mean basically guys is that this rail gets turned on and off with a power circuit and it is different for different directions so why I have explained that is because of this detector rail mechanism that my friend built here the detector rail basically powers the circuit turning this and when it is turned the minecart goes upwards instead of sideways when it is not on it is curving this way making the minecart come in from this way however this is different in the other case this one uses an inverted circuit there is a powered uh, there's a redstone torch here which powers this minecart rail and that's what it basically does it curves it this way instead of the other way let's put a minecart here and it's the opposite way so I'm just gonna demonstrate it without this so um, without this basically it curves in this way which would uh, make your starting minecart move in this way so yeah basically that's it um, yeah, basically, I mean, if you guys want a more in-depth um, tutorial on how to build this, uh, leave a section in the comments below and I will cover it. Uh, thanks guys for watching. See you all later. Bye-bye.